Okay, this is the first video in our series of um, self-help videos produced by the Nitty Gritty Business Group. Um, in this video, we're going to show you how to access your hosted domain um, using cPanel. For this exercise, we're going to use one of our existing domains. Uh, that domain name is wecreateebooks.com and we'll use that domain in the example so that you will learn how to access your control panel and um, install programs, set up emails and create a fully functional website. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our domain and that is wecreateebooks.com so let's do that. We've already got it in history so we get there straight away. This just verifies that we're actually getting to the correct domain and site. Now at the end of the URL or in your domain box on your browser, just go to the end of the line and type in the word C panel. It stands for control panel. And that will bring up a login box for you first but uh, will eventually bring up a login box asking for your username and login which would have been given to you. Um, we have bypassed that step because um, we're already logged in to cPanel. So when you get to cPanel you'll see a variety of options available to you. All the boxes are pretty well self-explanatory. We've got a promotion box up here that you can access various sites to help promote your website. Um, you've got preferences so you can have a look at a couple of videos of getting started, change your password, update your details, change the layout um, and set up some shortcuts. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to look at your email account setup. So we're going to create an email account for this domain uh, and to do so we do the obvious thing, we click on email accounts. Again. The, um, the way that cPanel operates is very, very self-explanatory, it's very intuitive. Um, if you're not sure and you want to actually get further details, you can watch an onboard video that comes with the system. Um, but for this exercise, we're going to create an account for admin. So we've got our domain name on your hosted domain. It will have your domain name sitting here. Um, so we're just going to type in the new email account that we want, and that's admin. So admin, and we look for a password. To create the password, we just type in, I would suggest eight letters, uh, try and make it so that it's uh, not guessable. Don't use your name or the domain name or something similar or your birth dates um, because it needs to be a secure access password. Um, use eight letters, in this case we'll go you can't see what I'm typing because I'm actually doing it. This, the, what I've typed in is not a great password, but it will do for this exercise. So we've got that there. And we need to type the password again to verify it. So we'll do that. And you need to set the quota. The quota um, we'll actually create uh, for this particular um, email account will actually use 50 meg. 50 meg is quite ample um, because it's cleared out every day and you get your 50 meg back. So as long as you don't leave your email on the server um, and use another program and delete your old emails, 50 meg should be quite ample for most people. Now I just noticed that we've actually already created admin so we won't be able to do it in this exercise so I'm just going to change the name to admin1 so we can follow through and we create the email account and that's how simple it is the email account for admin1 at wecreateebooks.com with a login of admin1 and when you actually log into your email account you would actually use the at symbol not the plus symbol so we've got admin1 at wecreateebooks.com with a quota of 50 megabytes and it was successfully created uh, do you wish to create another account to work with a mail client um, if you wish to configure your accounts, you can actually do this by clicking yes. So let's go ahead and have a look at that. This allows you to configure your client, that's your desktop client, to access the email. 
you select the client on your desktop that you're using um, if it's Outlook Express uh, then you would normally select the Outlook Express POP3 or if it's Outlook 2000 again you would select the Outlook Express POP3 so let's have a look at that um, it tells you here that it's actually this will automatically install the proper mail settings for the username account on Microsoft Outlook Express please close all running Outlook copies so you just follow the prompts in this case we're actually not going to do it because we don't have Outlook Express we're actually running on a Mac so we'll probably get an error after this and when it asks you to download the reg file we're actually going to cancel because we actually don't want to do this but if you're running on a Windows environment you would say yes and follow the prompts that's how simple it is so it creates um, access for Outlook if you want to access the email via the web then you would simply access your domain name followed by webmail and we will cover that in another video we'll go back to the main site now just by clicking the go back button and down the bottom of the page we'll actually see that there is actually a home button here you can see that we've already set up the two email addresses um, what I'm going to do before I go back is I'm actually going to delete both of these we might leave the admin are you sure you want to delete we go yes we go back and again down the bottom of the list we've got a home button that will take us back to cPanel and there we go so we can have a look in the next videos we're going to cover a variety of topics including using Fantastico to set up a fully functional website my name is Fred Gillen and this is the nitty-gritty business group video tutorials